Oh goodness already. So a little good headway on the Geo Metro here. We were able to drill out the hole right there in the rod. Thank goodness that was going to be my main problem if I had to replace this motor which I did find it's only $200, $300 for a new one, or not a new one, but another used one from the junkyard. So we're gonna make this bad boy work. I'm determined. I'm gonna sand this one down a little bit more. You can see those ridges, that's not good. That one's not so bad, and this one's not so bad, but it's this middle one. So I'm gonna get my sandpaper and shoestring and go around around and around and then I'll flush out this whole cavity with a carb cleaner get all the junk out that I can so it works somebody's getting a new driveway too someone's getting a lot of work done oh so yeah there's all these little gouges and shit right here that need to be like fixed I'm just gonna run a bead of shit around it. So, and shit, I mean RTV, and just call it a day. So I'll just replace this motor from a junkyard when I get a chance. So, but this will at least get me till I can buy a new motor, hopefully. So, we're gonna have to spin the crank arm around a little bit, get all these pistons back lined up clamp them down, get the plastic gauge on there, make sure everything's in spec enough. Mostly I'm just worried about that middle one. But getting it, getting it, uh, starting to get it taken care of. So we'll see if we can get it back on the road. So I got all my bearings in, I got all the caps back on, hopefully in the right order, going the right direction, follow the arrows on the bottom, and I need to go find out what, I need to go find out what torque they are, and then I'll start cinching them back up, and then I go back over to Billy's and beat my metal pan out so I can get it flush as I possibly can, and then come back and snap it on and try it out. Alrighty, we're in the garage now at my mother's. Gotta go and make sure this pan is flat all the way across. So, gonna go find a ball peen hammer and a socket and a flat metal bar. So, uh, catch back up. Yeah, so I thought someone was getting a cold driveway. Nope, we were getting a cold driveway. <laughs> Heck yeah, look at that. Nice new paved road. Oh yeah, that's fucking crisp. I love it. Look at this. Oh, I'm so sad that it's gonna cover the doggo spot, but I'm so happy. This is cool. So, heck yeah, I can deal with this. Now we gotta go back to Lowe's and get a bolt. Oh, yeah. Right here. When I got the those flowers and your mom brought us those flowers, I just thought it was a stick sticking out of it. And mm. now it's growing into a tree. Small tree. Oh cool. look, there's Reggie. It's a puppy. Hi Ridge. See? That's not bad. Now you can see out the window. I'm coming back in, don't worry. We're coming back All in. Alright, we're back. Got the gasket, got my oil pan, 
I'm gonna put a bead around it and then I'm gonna set this one on there but first I'm gonna smear a layer of that a layer of this on top of this too so it will connect to the frame of my car so all right let's give it a try Get on, got the seal going on around it. I'm gonna smear it around a little bit and slap it on there. Goodness gracious, we're getting it. I got the oil pan on now. I need to tighten it down to. nanometers but foot pounds so I need to go to eight eight foot pounds on this thing so I need to find my 10 millimeter ratchet too for this oh the old 10 millimeter all right the moment of truth just filled it up with oil got it all cinched in it's first startup let's see sounds how it sounds I'm quite nervous Of course my battery's dead. That didn't sound very good. Lots of deliberation and cleaning and going through parts and figuring what the hell could have been wrong with it. Spark plug wire was corroded. It was real corroded. Now, I'm not wanting to press the gas right now. I just want to see if it'll sit here and idle. Because my other problem is it likes to die while at a stop sign or in traffic and it's going. When it comes to a sudden like stop, it'll just die right there. So people say it's the crankshaft position sensor, which it could be since it's gotten like covered in oil and all that crap through the last year or two of it leaking real bad on it. But we're going to throttle it. see it wants to die so all right I got it running though and it's not sounding awful so we're gonna go with it and find out what's wrong with it more uh, so far diagnosing we've just gone through all the wires and plugs and went through all the fuses found my AC fuse was blown so let me see if I can kick on my AC So I can turn on the AC. I hear it spinning. Yeah, it's spinning now. So hooray, AC works again. It's just sitting here idling. I'm gonna let it idle for a little longer. Like I haven't haven't done much to it. I cleaned all that up. I have the metro running. I've even driven it down the road back and forth. But I still got a wild knock when I accelerate. You can hear it. That don't sound good. So, probably going to be looking at a new motor. Thanks for watching. Well, the Metro is going to be on hiatus for quite a while. Until I can pretty much get another engine. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is tint my other window and put it in eventually. i got to learn how to do tint. So, kind of learned a little bit. I know how to do. I just don't want to get dog hair on it. So, the prepping is the key part there. Um, but, now, I'm changing out hoses on the RV. This is what the old one was. And it's just paper and just deteriorated. So explains why I haven't had AC or 
good ventilation in the RV because it all just looks like this and it's been broken up in millions of pieces and there's been mice living in it great so I already put this new one in fit perfectly just fine so we're gonna run the rest of them down and that'll be good as new maybe have some AC again clean clean all right so see I replaced this tubing went right up into the thing right there for the defroster so it goes all the way down you can see it right in my window right there and right there and two outlets right there I'll get some zip ties and put around the edges so they don't go nowhere and that's it for out here now we gotta go inside and take all the rest of the uh, vents out and reduct them we are back and taking out more ducting in the dash so trying to find where I put the vent at for my other piece but we'll find it but right now just running duct taking one off and replacing it exactly where it was with the original so we make sure each one goes to the right location but yeah so that's going to right here and I got this one right there and then there's one also blowing towards my feet down here that's going back there and then two on that side so hopefully we have enough duct might not have to replace the one by my feet though since it's not decrepit but we'll see alrighty so that was quick I only had to replace a couple of them so just replace those two all the way down there go up right into that silver box right there that's where all they all dumped out to all the other ones are good and solid my two were messed up and the ones outside were messed up so got it fixed now we're gonna cinch it back up would like to fix this thing though it's hard to pull it back and forth so I'm gonna look up some YouTube videos and how to lodge those so we'll see what we can come up with <laughs> 